In this video, we're going to review some basic coolant tank cleaning tips. Let's start with a fairly common example we're all familiar with. There is enough tramp oil in this dirty tank that it needs to be cleaned. How should we remove the oil and how did it get there in the first place? Haas machines use very little oil during operation. It's most likely this tramp oil came from the oily material this machine has been cutting. Since this isn't a huge amount of oil, we will sweep it up using oil absorbent wipes. Drop the wipes directly on the surface of the coolant. Wring the coolant out. Oily rags can combust, so don't just drop these in the trash. Put them in an oily waste safety container. Check for chips in the tank using a perforated scoop. Drag them against one wall of the tank and scoop them out. There are a couple of reasons why it's a bad idea to let chips pile up in your tank. For one, when you're topping up your coolant, how will you know how much room is in there? Those chip piles can take up a lot of tank space, enough to make a real difference. They also provide the perfect environment for oil-hungry bacteria to grow. We've cleaned the coolant surface and removed the chips. This tank is ready for top-up. Now, let's check out a tank with some real coolant problems. Judging by the thick layer of oil on the surface and the smell of rotten eggs, coolant maintenance on this tank has obviously been neglected. Let's investigate further. There is actually some coolant underneath this layer of oil. When we reach down to the bottom of the tank, we find an underwater mountain range of chips. This tank is supplying the perfect environment for bacteria to thrive. So, let's check the chemistry. Our water quality test strip shows a low pH around 7, probably because of the stinky bacteria feeding on the tramp oil. Water hardness is also too high at over 400 parts per million. No one filled out the coolant log, so we can only guess that this coolant has been topped up using hard tap water. Several days ago, a bacteria test sample was taken. The test results show a high bacteria level in the coolant. All these tests confirm that discarding the coolant is the only good option. Clear a spot for the pump inlet. Pump out the dirty coolant. Now we will see the full extent of the problem. There is a deep layer of chips. It helps to raise one end of the tank to drain the remaining coolant to the other side. Note that we have a mesh screen around the end of the pump inlet. This keeps the sharp chip fragments from damaging the pump. Remove any chips from the coolant discharge chute and the inlet panel. Use the perforated scoop to lift the chips out of the tank. Now clean the entire tank including the tank screen, coolant pumps, and cover panels. You don't want to go to all the trouble of filling your machine with fresh coolant, only to recontaminate it with a dirty pump or cover. Since bacteria took hold of this coolant, there is a good chance the other, less accessible parts of the coolant system are also contaminated. So, how do we clean these hard-to-reach areas? You could opt to use a biocide, but since these are hazardous chemicals, we recommend using a high alkaline cleaner instead to kill the remaining bacteria. Industry testing has shown that bacteria-contaminated tanks that are simply dumped and refilled without cleaning the entire system usually return to pre-dump bacteria levels within four days. Partially fill the tank with a 4% solution of water and alkaline cleaner. Run the coolant system for two hours. Make sure all the pumps are operating. Be sure to empty any areas in your coolant system where contaminated coolant may accumulate, like the washdown hose on our machine, for instance. Don't leave the alkaline mixture in the machine. You need to pump it out and rinse the system with a 2% coolant solution for 30 minutes. Pump out the rinse solution. 
your coolant tank and plumbing are now ready to be recharged. And remember, if you keep your coolant tank clean and your coolant's chemistry correct, none of this extra work should ever be necessary. Please check out our other coolant videos that deal with making a new charge, topping off an existing tank, and the tools of coolant. Also check out our overview of coolant maintenance. Thanks for watching.